I'm gonna set up a video here on theme park days. Now today we're here at the second fort in Harwich wearing the new merch. Rob Shandabag, 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 Shandabag. These will be going on sale soon. We're getting a new lot tomorrow. We're getting a new design. So if you like the new design, we'll be going up on our social medias. If you like the new sign, let us know. They'll be available to order subject to ordering. Um, but yeah, we're here at the second fort. Now this has been done up. This was left abandoned for a very long time from World War II. Uh, the other one was uh, Neapolitan War, I think. Something like that. Um, and this one was from World War II. This is the radar tower. And this is the Beacon Hill Fort. Let's go. We're now in and we're joined today by Tara's sister, Kelly, who also has her own YouTube channel, Fun Hello. in the Sun. So make sure you go check that out. Uh, we've got our torch. And let's go. <laughs> Hello, doggy. The same dog that, um, the kids She's trying to turn me torch on here, we go. Hello, doggy. Are you going to come over, say, dog? No, it looks like it, doesn't it? So, but last time I come here, you actually had to walk over a plank to get yeah, across. Yeah, done it. Yeah, so this is all nicely redone. I mean, this was taken over by a charity. I think it's a charity, um, and they've com they've done so well. They've bought the land and they're doing it up. And now, basically, anyone can come in here. All they ask is the donation. You have to basically sign a waiver to say that we accept ev every responsibility for if anything happens while we're in here. There's a hole. Sorry, dog. <laughs> You'll get caught on that left right and center. Don't worry. Say hello to the camera. I'm going to call you Percy. <laughs> hello, Percy. <laughs> so, we're coming into this is the first building we come to. There's another one over there, but this is the first one. Oh, nice big water tank. And there's the dead end. Um, I was, they also done a Friday nights here last year, so which was really good. I mean, next year, if next year. If we come, we would definitely do yeah, a vlog there and go, from come back that Friday night. Anyway. And you can go down there as well. Yeah, we'll go this way down. Um, we'll definitely do a vlog from the Friday night next year if they do one. Because I'll tell you what, <laughs> it was actually really good. I actually got scared in that. I, if you don't know me, I am petrified of spiders. Petrified of them. And there was this young kid wearing a massive spider suit, weren't there? Absolutely massive spider suit. And then... Um, yeah, it definitely got me. It was in what it was in uh, Bloody Mary's Tunnel. I think it's called. I mean, I'll just spin you around. I mean, this this was so overgrown. I mean, when we were kids, and we used to come here. We used to get through this fence here. Or um, on the sea farm, goes open. Yes, but I mean, this, this all the pathways. Was. This was just where Jigsaw, the Jigsaw um, maze was in here. But there was like a two-year-old, I think he was. He wasn't very wasn't very tall, but with as Billy the puppet, and and he was. Um, he got a lot of jump scares from the people. There was a lot of people that were scared of this guy. I mean, you got this, I was this is being held up by strong boys. I was a mark person. And that crows. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was a marked person at it. Yes, we both, we both were. We were squirrel. Squirrel. We were, we were headhunted, weren't we, Rob? Yeah, didn't scare me. <laughs> by Tara's friend. We were headhunted. <laughs> She was the nun, wasn't she? She was the nun from Conjuring. It's Conjuring, isn't it? Uh, no, oh well, uh, yeah. Well, basically, all the scenes were filmed uh, were set to the films from horror films. I mean, bigger mortar. Mortar, also known as the Black Spigot. Bombard. You're gonna read it out. Yeah, the Spigot mortar was a static 29 mm anti-tank gun weapon. Designed in 1040 by Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Blaker. Approximately 22,000 were brought um, into service and manned by a crew of three and five personnel. Um, mounted on a swivel or pivot, the gun was capable of firing six 12 rounds per minute, weighing between 51 kilo and 163 kilo. Accompanied by four compartments which held up to 10 bombs in each. Its fire range was effective of up to 100 yards, 91 metres, but was better over shorter distances. 
Brought into service in 1941, it was discontinued in 1942 due to the progress of technology. This picture is just to show the type of weapon that would have been positioned here. So obviously it would have been on this like cylinder here. Um, thank you Tara for reading that. Oh, we've got a tennis ball. Percy? Percy? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, we've got a tunnel here. Yeah, this tunnel. is Bloody Mary's tunnel, I believe. Are we going to go? Do you not go down? Huh? <laughs> what is it? You see, it's proper, proper it's abandoned. Sort of. um, but I think there's, there's, <laughs> this is one of the tunnels that are here. Oh, We're going okay. down. This is the one where they were scared. If you don't want to go down there, I'll, I'll walk the long way around with you. So Rob's now putting the torch on. No, you, these are, are optional. You can ask. Oh, spider webs. That's not. That's not good. Um, I mean, these these flashlights are optional. There's a lot of spider webs in here. Can I have the torch in here, please, mate? You can come down if you like. Obviously, there's a door there. Oh, proper echo in here. Really cold. You almost it's like haunted in a way. Um, had so many spider webs, I can feel them everywhere I walk. Oh, I'm scared of the spiders. As you can see down there, these are. This is where the spider was. Oh, okay. We went through the hole. Oh, yeah. Which would be shown. Yes, we'll go through it. Yeah? <laughs> this was a strobe maze in the Fright Nights. This was a strobe maze. Huh? Oh. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Those are very, very cool. <laughs> Kelly, are you scared? <laughs> what was that noise? Oh, they can't get out there now. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is the wrong tunnel. This is the wrong tunnel. But one of these tunnels went in the last one. The strobes, the access points along the wall. Yeah, here. that was a, that was one of the best strobe mazes I've ever done. I don't know about you. That was it was really good. Oh yeah, this was one of the better fright nights we've done. Um, only four quid. Yeah, three or four quid. I mean, we got free tickets, didn't we? Yeah. Thanks to Tara. Was it free tickets? Yeah, free tickets. Yeah, tickets, thanks to Tara and knowing someone. Um, but it was it was really good. I mean, oh, three quid. Um, I mean, uh, if you if you do drink afterwards, uh, once you come to the end, which is the other side of the fort, that you bet you were able to buy beverages and stuff, like alcoholic drinks, food, there's a barbecue and all kinds of stuff. But, I mean, this is just brilliant. Um, Oh, so many spider webs. Yeah, What's that? It was like a guard post. Like where they'd, po they'd sit on it. It was a post. I mean, this used to be like proper overgrown and proper urbex. Oh, run up there. I'm going to run up there. I'm going to run up there and have a look. Oh, please keep off the roof. There you go. What's this? Is this an air raid shelter or something? Spider webs, man. Obviously, this is where. Probably where the soldiers stood. Because all this before I used to look out over to the sea, you'll see when we get further along that this used this does go out on right onto the seafront, which is at the radar towers, which is where they stood. Um to look out for obviously the German troops in World War Two. Like if you've watched our air raid shelter video, you know I love my history. The war is really one of the one of the aspects of history that I absolutely love. And here's one of the towers. 
here's one of the towers to look over to the sea. So, yeah, we'll go up there at the end. Oh, there's a tunnel up there. Ah, here we go. We're going into one of the tunnels. I presume this is Bloody Mary's tunnel. I don't know. I can't get an Actually, no. Bloody Mary's the one up there, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously, these aren't haunted as well. Like everywhere, like this is haunted, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's brilliant, though. I do love these these war places, places that obviously resemble the war. Um, Rob's not a lover of that idea of the war and, right, and history wise. Um, obviously, what I respect about these, if it wasn't these places protecting here, Harridge may, I never even may have been born in a way, because this is where I was born and raised, you know. Um, born and raised, so if it wasn't for these, the yeah, the nun was on here one Friday nights. Obviously, if it weren't for these people here, 24 7 we, we wouldn't be here you know that that's bloody mary <laughs> also this is where the zombies were as well wasn't it oh uh, i think they all joined together didn't they these two used to they used to whether they still do or not there's a big one here but i've got nothing clear oh delicious i know they've been built up again Yeah. Obviously these all used to be but metal barred as well. Yeah. I mean just to think that this was on our doorstep as well. Like it's crazy. I mean just up there, past the red tape, to the left, past the other tunnel, is where the beverages was. Boom! <laughs> what? I was just going to go up there. Don't it. Yeah. Another tunnel here. Maybe this is the join the one that joins onto the tunnel. Yeah. Big one. Okay. You're not coming in the tunnels. This is the one. This is the one. This is the, one. This is the, one. This is the big tunnel. The main one, the main boy, Bloody Mary. He's come down here as a kid with a little low grown. Yeah, so did I. I mean, what's down here? Put a light torch down here, bro. Oh, you can't get that side. We're in the wrong one again. <laughs> oh, we are in the wrong one again. Oh, yeah, oh, yes. No, this is the one that Rob is in here. Because you've got the joints. Yeah, this is the one. So you've got all these joints that go into the tunnel. Shooting down there. It's pretty haunted down there, I would have thought. Woo! Sorry, trying to make his jump. Woo! 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 Oh, hello. Hello. These are like the just. Help me! Hello, these presents. Hello. 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 Because <laughs> these obviously down here. A bit of gun to come down stuff, yeah. Oh. Break I'm not breaking it. I'm just touching it. <laughs> yeah, but these. Turn the torch back on Ooh. so they can see you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. I actually really enjoy this. Um, we go so far away to get some abandoned places, but then we always forget about this place because it's all done up now. It's not so abandoned anymore. It's a train, that's a trouble. It is. Because you can do a loud in. Yeah. Not that we say. We don't promote break into <laughs> places, obviously. But we don't actually break into anything. If we can't get in, we won't try. Yeah, if we, yeah that, is, that is what we do. If we can't get in, if there's not a hole in the fence, we won't force a hole. Oh, Apple. If they like to let us in, we'll go in. Yes. Obviously, we were a little bit worried, actually, because it said Monday to Friday, appointment only. We thought, oh, we're not going to get in. We're going to have to come in at the weekend. <laughs> got other stuff to do. I've got work. Rob's got work. So it was all a bit, a bit worried. We messaged the guys. Didn't get anything back. And then I read a sign saying, uh, and then no, Rob went online. Oh, hello. 
Rob went line, it's open from two till five, so. I'm gonna go up there. <laughs> Tara won't. Come on, go up. Can you go coming up? up? I was I was just one that's buried off me. Oh he got chopped up on it. Yeah, this this was the one that was just Yeah. We'll go up there. Hold the phone a second, Rob. Or Tara. Oh, Rob. Well, go on. <laughs> Sorry, viewers. Watch. Let's have a little bit of comedy in time. <laughs> Don't fall off because I will laugh. That was impressive, right? Yeah. And look at that for a view. <laughs> Lovely views. <laughs> Doors now shut. <laughs> That's why you have to sign a waiver. Floor's fall through. Come. I'll make sure Liam lands first. I'll start the camera in. Where's the camera, please? Oh, Alright, ladies! So we're coming over to the next tower. Fox. Fox. Oh, don't the signs mean something? No. Showing you the pass. Guiding you. Oh, that's a cool there. bench. Yeah. Made out of nothing. Yeah. They've done a really good job here. Really, really good job. Yeah, you know, well, cool I mean, we're in our thirties and one in our forties. Um, one in their teams. Um, <laughs> and there. we've been coming here <laughs> been there. since we were kids. Yeah. Like to early teenagers, a bit younger than that. And we used to we used to play over here when it was absolutely overgrown and and they're some of our best memories. And now as adults we get to walk around it. Wow. It's completely clear, <laughs> it's amazing. With our own children. With our own children that love it equally as much as we do. I mean I used to come in here as a kid and we both used to play manhunt, like, if you don't know what manhunt is, Google it. <laughs> you can get up to the yeah. top of this one. You should show me the views around Harwich as well. Yeah, it's a like stunning that. place where we live, it we is. a little butcher's up the top here. Yeah, we've got bags. Grub's Door shut, Alf, stay in my toe. Cleaning cupboard. No, We've got a cleaning cupboard. <laughs> cleaning cupboard. Yeah. We do live in a very historic, picturesque town. Um, Harwich is also known as historic Harwich. Let's look at those views. Is Percy back? Percy! He's back. Middle tower. What's called Boney? Boney Tony. Boney Tony. Obviously, I'm going to try not to show you all the graffiti because some of it is not very friendly. Yeah. So, we have to try and be very careful on the graffiti we show. One thing they can't obviously clean up is the graffiti as much. Yeah, but that won't keep the good look, will it? Yeah, if they paint over it, it won't be the same, you know? Be very different. Obviously, that's where we were over there in that tower over there. 
Felix Felix Stowe, the second biggest port in the world, isn't it? One of the biggest. Um, Stone Pier, mile long, that thing is. The days I used to go out there and fish on that. You are? Hmm? Yeah. That's right. You're not so they, they, um, they advise you not to, but you can anyway. Yeah, but it's missing in the middle. No, it's with the tide. When it's high tide, the water goes over it, so you know it's a high tide. Because of the uh, stone pier there. You can really see. Be nice job to float around and before, you wouldn't be able to see the floor. You, know, you can see the pathways here. But before, when it was all abandoned. They've still got a lot to do. Yeah, they have got a lot. Um, what? The money there? Oh, hello, Percy. Hello. Hello, Percy. Get up here. You come up the steps just to see us. Hello. His probably name is probably not Percy. But we've decided. What's it, what's it say, Rob? Come here, Percy. Oh, it's just a poppy. Cute little dog, isn't it? I wouldn't eat that. No, it's this um, feathers. Percy, don't eat that. Hashtag not sponsored by Liverpool. Wish, I wish. It's wrong as well, it's wrong. It is, it's, six it's stars. Five man. stars. Oh, come on in, Percy. Come on, you go first, mate. Good girl, boy. Boy, wherever you are. Don't tend to look either. Come on. <laughs> you get greeted by dogs. Tara. Tara. Percy, come up. Percy, come up to see us, he's there. There, no, look. He's just gone in there. Go on, Percy. Come on, Percy. Come on. Come on. He is now. Good boy. Come on, Percy. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> he answers the Percy. I think his name actually is Percy. See ya, Percy. Have a good day. Yeah, well. No, there's a couple of bits over by the front, isn't it? Down here. Um, um, yeah. We've got to come down. So. <coughs> We'll show you. I mean, there's probably stuff we've missed out as well. We missed the other tunnel. No, that was all, that was all blocked off. It's not done yet. Oh, okay. That's as far as the front I've to as well, that one. Yeah. It's not all 100% done yet. There's still about 60 foot of There's still about five. Yeah, still. I mean, all this is overgrown. They don't actually own. Yeah, they bought it off the council. The council it. owned it. Um, still not completely theirs yet. I um, mean, this is where we started down here. Um, Money to get this far, oh, it's going to be extraordinary amounts of money. Um, see, look, I hear that. This isn't theirs yet. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, the cake. The cake? The cake that comes Lays. down in loads. Lays. Lays. Oh, okay. It's always called the wedding cake. Yeah, the wedding cake. It looks like a 15 tier wedding cake. Really? Inside, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Nice climb halfway up and then get stuck because you had that much gap and that much water to climb up. <laughs> <laughs> you, were you, did your legs get down just there? Oh yeah. Think? Yeah, you, it's a ladder going down, isn't it? I don't know. I went down. Yeah. Rob, come on. No, I need you to hold the camera. <laughs> and my bag. And then you can pass me the camera down. I mean, if you saw where I am... Take my bag on top of that step and I'll stand up there. Yeah. Well, I still need you to park the camera. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I'll see it. Does the step ladder go down? No, you don't need it. Pass me the camera and the, and the torch. Sorry, guys. Let's go. Let's go exploring. Oh, wait, no. Come on. Come in, Rob. Rob's coming in as well. I mean, this is a proper bunker. If, if you've never been in a bunker before, this is a war bunker. It's inside the cave. Yeah, I mean, this. So, where the gun come out? Yeah, it's crazy. All the excess ammo going in there, down the bottom. Yeah, I mean, this is absolutely crazy. Like, this is a war bunker. And the van used to play down here, look. Yeah, well, there's an entrance point here. Um, I'm not going to fit in there. Yep. Ugh, just. You coming up? Hold the camera, I'll say. Yeah. 
Get him up. Oh. Come on. What? I can't climb up. I've got to get him. <laughs> Go on. Oh. Don't want to be washed. <laughs> Silver birch, sir. Yeah. I think. Silver tree. <laughs> You're failing miserably. Got better than you. <laughs> there we go, he's up. Is that just where we come from? Yeah, there. Alright, we'll take these then, <laughs> and I'll meet you the other side. I want to go up the way. Sardine in a tin can. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> you hope. <laughs> See, obviously we've just come from in that war bunker there. Uh, we seem to be a little bit zoomed in, I think. It's a lot easier than I kid. Yes. feel like I'm a bit more unfitter. Yep, definitely that. <laughs> um, you're right then, mate. You've signed a waiver, remember? I know. <laughs> obviously this is open to the public as well. We just got that building now to check out. And then uh, we checked all available. Available bubbles. All the um, uh, artifacts and stuff that they found. Oh, really? Yeah, well, they've got the, where, the picture of the, where the uh, bomb them. was dropped on Tyler Street. Really? Bomb yeah. was dropped on Tyler Street? I didn't even know that. Tyler Street, uh, just over the road from where I didn't even know that. Oh, here we go. They're good funded, probably, by some of the stuff they found as well. I think they would try to get stuff to go to museums as well, wouldn't they? Yeah, well, museums are. Bones. Just a bit of wood. It looks like old shoe. Got some sort of old trap, that one. Probably a claim wall sort of thing. Mm. Sort of thing, which put on it, blows up. That's really cool. That's what nuns, it? Oh, this is the first World War, not the Second World War, that I thought. No, it's the first World War. It's nurses. No, it's it's not. throughout the whole thing though, isn't it? Yeah. See, World War One. I. I think World War Two was over there. Yeah, this is really interesting stuff. Um, we'll spin the camera round. Cleaning again. Let's cleaning cupboard again. Lawn mower. There's a lot more stuff in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll go this side. More than the Winch handle, red industrial fuse box cover, lift chains, telephone cables. Oh, cool! I'll meet you around, Rob. All right, look, this is really cool, man. Fencing spear. Look, yeah. from 1890s or 1890s or something. 1890s or something, wow. Black from wedding cake. Lamp stands. Oh yeah, it's still called it wedding cake. Oh yeah. Open the wedding cake back with it. Oh look, and they've got all the different types of bricks. All the different types. Hinges London Brick and Company. Still use them nowadays, like LBC, London Brick and Company. Yeah. Sort of drain pipes. Yeah. Pipes Fire them. hydrant. That's really cool. More than art code ironworks. It is really cool how they found all this stuff, you know. World War II animation lift, which is the thing we was in over there. Yeah. With the winch. So uh, we'll, spin the, we'll spin the camera around and uh, we end this vlog. Okay, so we've had a... Oh, very bright. Uh, we've had a wicked time here at the Beacon Hill Fort in Harwich. Um, really really good history lessons if you don't if you like history make sure to come down here if you live local be, be sure to come and check it out all you've got to do is sign in give a little donation if you like um but it's such a good cause so make sure you do give them a donation uh we've obviously all given them a donation um yeah what a time we've had so let's do this we are here 
We are at the Bacon Hill Fort in Harwich. We are theme park days and we are out.